Hi everybody, it's Chris in the White Mountains TV studio, joined by Harrison Kanzler, who is the executive director of the Mount Washington Valley uh, Housing Coalition. Thanks for joining us remotely today, Harrison. Hey, thanks for having me, Chris. And uh, you guys have a lot going on. First, describe the coalition. Uh, what is the, mi the, the mission of the MWVHC? Sure. So we're trying to uh, promote a strong, uh, healthier economy, a healthier community um, through advocating for affordable housing for everyone in the Valley. And um, so what we do as an advocacy group is we work with the communities of the Mount Washington Valley, try to highlight for them some issues they might be having regarding housing. I think at this point, um, given everything going on with the pandemic, housing has definitely kind of come forward as a more prominent issue. And so we're trying to help the communities look at different ways that they can resolve those issues, uh, different ways they can bring about new housing opportunities and options for the folks who live there. Right. We know the real estate market is, is booming in the Mount Washington Valley as it is in much of New Hampshire. Uh, but that even kind of emphasizes the, the lack of um, you know, affordable housing here in the area. Uh, that was brought front and center earlier this summer when the, the school district couldn't even hire a teacher because that teacher couldn't find a place to live that was affordable uh, in this area. Yeah, it's a huge problem. Um, you know, when we start seeing workers for our educational services, uh, for our health services, and, and they start looking at job openings here, but saying, I can't live there, so I can't come take that job, it becomes a bigger and bigger problem. Um, and it becomes, again, that issue continues when our service industry, which is such a huge part of our economy, is also starting to fall short. Tried to get lunch from Wicked Fresh yesterday and they were shut down and I, I, the sign on the door said that they were having staffing issues. So, I mean, that's, it, it gets to be a point where tourists, the things tourists come up to do aren't going to be available if we don't resolve uh, the issue of housing our employees right. Uh, right here in the Valley. And what are some of the big picture uh, solutions to this? What are some of the things that the Housing Coalition is at least uh, looking into or trying to investigate to help alleviate this problem? Sure. So some of the stuff we look at it are things, really the nit grit piece of it would be looking at zoning ordinances to say, you know, can you actually build a house that someone can afford at a median income uh, if your minimum lot size is an acre, right? Um, so, and, and very, I mean, obviously that's a, a broad example, but there's several examples like that. When, when we look at our zoning ordinances in the Mount Washington Valley, a lot of them were established in the 80s and early 90s and haven't really been hugely updated since then. Um, another thing that we're really interested in is accessory dwelling units, ADUs. Um, the state in 2017 issued a broad um, statement that anyone can build an ADU and the municipalities can just kind of determine what that looks like. Um, so trying to come up with a more cohesive understanding of what accessory dwelling units are and how they could be implemented in the Valley um, in order to create new units is huge. I mean, I look at every house that has a detached or a detached or attached garage, and I say, could we put a small apartment above that, you know, um, and that's something that generates income for the homeowner and gives some more, someone a place to live. So it's a win-win. Absolutely. Uh, so much going on. You guys have a, a several events coming up. You just had one, uh, a question and answer with uh, many of the candidates running for uh, state office here in, in our district. Uh, how did that go? And, and tell us about some of these other events you have coming up. Sure, it went great, and uh, all of them are going to be formatted essentially the same way with the candidates. We had a video um, that talked about basically their interests in housing, what things they would do if elected to Concord um, to try to change, alleviate the housing situation here in the Valley. Um, that then immediately turned into a live Q&A where all of those candidates were present. We are not only can you register through our website and through our Facebook to join these webinars, but we also live stream them through our Facebook page. So if you don't get a chance to register, you can just go on um, at it's Wednesdays from 5.30 to 6.30. You can hop on our Facebook page and watch it live there. Um, the only issue is you can't ask questions through Facebook. So if you wanna ask questions of the panel, you do need to be in the webinar. Right. Um, if, if people miss this first one, can they watch the replay on your Facebook page? Is that video yeah. posted? Yeah, absolutely. It's there and we're gonna be uploading it to our website as well. So you can check it out there. All right, very informative as we go to the polls in just a couple of weeks. Many people already doing their voting. 
Uh, it is. And tell us it, about some of these other uh, Q&As you have coming up. Sure. So next, uh, this coming Wednesday, which would be uh, October 21st from 5.30 to 6.30, we are going to be hosting a panel of local business owners and organization leaders. Um, so we're going to be hearing from Ben Wilcox from Cranmore, Aaron Mayo from Freiburg Academy, Laura Lemieux from um, Settlers Green OVP, and Terry O'Brien from Red Park Pub. And they're going to be talking to us about how housing has impacted them and their businesses and organizations and uh, and how COVID has impacted them as well. So it'll be really interesting to hear about that. That's fantastic. And uh, I think you have a third one coming up after that. We do, yeah. And then that will be the final one. And that's going to be uh, Wednesday, October 28th. Again, that 5.30 to 6.30 slot. And that's going to be comprised of a panel of uh, advocates and experts around the state. As they're going to be talking about the housing uh, crisis as it impacts the state as a whole. Um, what it looks like demographically when the entirety of our state is having a hard time bringing in and retaining um, young, young folks, the younger demographic. Um, and not only that, but once we get employees and businesses too, how do we retain them? How do we keep them stay, keep them here? Um, and a big part of that is housing. So that's uh, what we're going to be looking at. All right. You guys are doing such great work there. We're speaking with Harrison Kanzler, the executive director of the Mount Washington Valley Housing Coalition. Harrison, anything else before we say goodbye? I think we've covered it. Thank you so much for having me, Chris. You're welcome. Get in touch with the Housing Coalition. And once again, your web address is mwvhc.org. All right, Harrison Kanzler, thank you so much for joining us. You're watching White Mountain TV.